Hi, my name is Stacy Cervenka and I'm from Lincoln, Nebraska. And I am responding to the monthly question that was asked by Unpacking Disability, which is a new blog that was recently started by Mariah Nichols. And this month, the question is, how has the COVID pandemic affected you as a parent who has a disability or as the parent of a person with a disability. Um, my husband and I are both blind and our two children are both sighted and we live in an area of the country that doesn't have great public transportation. And so particularly during the earliest parts of the pandemic when everything was closed down and we were still learning how to be safe in public, um, we had no access really to transportation here. The bus system was shut down, so there was no way to take a bus. Um, there were very few Uber and Lyft, uh, Lyft cars out on the street because drivers were understandably hesitant to allow complete strangers to be in their cars. Um, and we were reluctant to take an Uber or Lyft because we were concerned about getting into the car of someone we didn't know. Um, you know, we wouldn't know if they would take the pandemic seriously. We didn't know what precautions they were taking. So Uber and Lyft and the bus, which we usually use a lot, were kind of unavailable to us. Um, and so that made getting groceries, getting household items, getting home maintenance supplies, um, rather difficult because they, they, um, were out of most items on Amazon. It was hard to get things even through the mail or through delivery services. So it was it was hard um, to get a lot of things. And you would sometimes hear, oh, hey, guess what? The, you know, CVS in the southwest part of town has toilet paper, but, you know, we couldn't necessarily get there. Uh, so that was a challenge. Um, the other challenge that has remained, even as Lincoln has pretty much opened up entirely, is um, access to COVID testing. Because um, if my husband or I or any of our children were to experience symptoms of COVID, um, how would we ethically and responsibly get into an Uber or Lyft car and ask them to drive us to a testing site or to the hospital? Because we would then be exposing them. Um, and, you know, if, if you are seeking out COVID testing, chances are that you're experiencing symptoms or that um, you've been exposed to someone who has COVID. So it would be understandable for drivers to be really concerned to let you in their car when you're, you know, you have a fever or you're coughing. Um, so how do people get safely to those COVID testing sites? And really the same, um, the same concern applies for friends or family. How do you ask a neighbor or a friend to drive you to a COVID testing site when you have a fever or when you are experiencing other symptoms? You know, you don't want to infect them. They don't want to be infected. So um, luckily, uh, Lincoln and Lancaster County, where we live, is currently working to um, dispatch you know, dispatch workers to people's homes to offer in-home testing um, to non-drivers. And that is that is a really good solution. Um, I hope that other counties and other cities and other states begin doing that so that if you can't drive to a facility, um, either a Lincoln, you know, a city or county worker can come out and test you from the health department, or um, they are, I think, contracting with a clinic and then the clinic is then billing the Lincoln Lancaster County uh, Department of Health. Um, and I think there are other innovative solutions such as dispatching healthcare workers or county health department workers uh, to pick up people and give them safe transportation to testing sites um, and offer them, you know, the proper PPE so that it's safe for everybody involved. Um, so I, I'm really hoping that cities and counties and municipalities begin offer, you know, begin considering innovative solutions, and, and some of them are, but it's kind of sporadic depending on where you live. Um, so those are my thoughts. Um, we look forward to hearing how um, your family has been doing during this challenging time and how the COVID pandemic has impacted you and your family. Um, please use the hashtag disabled covid parenting again that's hashtag disabled covid parenting and that is all one word thank you very much